Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork. This is Crusader Kings 2, the Jewish Aztecs. And as you may recall, we're in the middle of a war with Strathclyde. Runalt Clut made the foolish decision of trying to go around and attack me when he thought I was weak. <laughs> Funny how things turn out. Now, at the moment, I'm trying to work my way towards the Kingdom of Scotland, but before I can found it, I need at least two duchies. Two duchies will also be pretty useful, because when I have two duchies, I'll be a Grand Duke, and that will give me extra domain. And since I currently have a large surplus of money, and could still afford to hire my favorite Irish mercenaries, I'm going to create the Duchy of Lothian right now. Double Duke and all that. It's not displaying it right here, but I do have the main size of five, because I'm going to want to keep all of Strathclyde. Once we beat them, and that's only a matter of time. Because Ronald Clut bit off more than he can chew. Run, all Clut! Run! Anyways, the only thing that might possibly be a bit dangerous for us is this army from an Irish miner coming to, uh... How do I put this? Slightly ruin my day. And... <clears throat> yeah, he's heading to Ulster. We're going to need to face him head on. In fact, what I should do... Break off this siege. <laughs> Head back home, lower personal levies, and re raise them so that I can get a larger m force mustered. Ronald Clutch basically defeated already, so drop personal levies, re raise. And let's... Oh, I forgot I had personal levies in Ulster. That is unfortunate, because they're all going to die now. Whoopsie. Well, just led 20 Irishmen to their deaths because I was a bit careless. Well, Irishman, you will be remembered. Nah, not really. And yep, just as I suspected, we now have less troops than before. Although, it looks like we managed to actually get back here quick enough that we... Wait. I don't know. All I know is... Ronald Clut and his allies are trying to take back Alt Clut. And now see... That's not okay. Okay, so... My son Victor does his homework and is always on time for his lessons. Ooh, that's good. He'll automatically gain an extra skill point. And he'll get diligent. And it's an intrigue, just like his old man, Master Spy slash Mass Murderer. Oh, you're gonna grow up to do great things, Victor, my boy. Hold it. We have a dangerous faction. How dangerous is this faction? Actually pretty dangerous. This guy here... Oh, come on, man! 
What about all that shit I gave you? You remember all that shit I did for you, right? Like, you're my cupbearer, you're a commander, the gift is still enacted. Oh, she must have forced him into the faction. Well, I'll have to kill her then if I, uh... want to clear up the faction, though... Unfortunately, her heir is the Arn Grimmer of Dublin. Oh no, he he's just the Kalpishki of Dublin. I should kill him. I mean, how many Englings are left? Still way too many. Never gonna be able to wipe out the house Ingling. But I'll bet this guy... Nope. This guy joined because he was coerced into it. So, I think we can rectify the situation by coercing him out of it. Okay. You working in Dublin is... A fruitless endeavor. Oh, also... We should have you collecting taxes... in the capital. Now, which one of these would help me to coerce vassals? That would be the Spy Master. You should go to Moray. Meanwhile... Not a good chance at proselytizing. Unless I was going for individual characters proselytized, in which case I should actually put it on one of my Viking vassals. I mean, Ingling, I'd be a okay with them existing if they were to go, you know, Jewish. Would that be feasible? I think it would be. Well, we'll see. Let's see about proselytizing in Dublin. Meanwhile... That. See, we've got a large amount of troops, but I'm worried that might not necessarily be enough to deal with this army of Ronald Klutz ally. And then, of course, there are the Scots up there. They're not that dangerous to me, but... The worry is, what if they decide to come down south and regroup with the rest of the team, because... that would be bad. Consumption! Okay, Ship Hill of Gowrie. So there is consumption in Gowry. Let me just take a look, because this is a plague, and what it does, it's tuberculosis. Oh, tuberculosis is a nasty disease, right? Keep all our troops out of Gowry until that passes, and hope that it doesn't spread. Last thing I need is 800 dead soldiers when I'm sitting precariously close to multiple invasions. Oh, also, that faction no longer dangerous. Oh no, there it goes. Dangerously strong. Can't seem to uh, make a choice. Okay, so come on, no font. Just one more tick. The Siege of Tigwin is down. We lost no troops except for the ones that we apparently used to garrison. Now we need to deal with these guys. Except if we attack from there, it would be across a river, I'm pretty sure. Like there's a river crossing between here 
and Teviotdale, Argyle, No Font, and Iron. So, No Font, Iron, Teviotdale, and Argyle. So, if we go in from Lothian, that would be possible. So, we can head back into Teviotdale, raise a few extra troops, in fact. Let's raise a lot of extra troops. You know, be prepared! Let's, uh... Scout Mile. Let's just... Disband any that are too far away to be of use. That includes any that spawn down here. In England or in Ireland. Basically only Scottish troops. And 40... Up here, probably won't be able to get them to safety. Ultimately, I guess I'm only going with my, uh, county vassals, which, honestly, not that bad an idea, since they'll never join revolts if they get unhappy. So, yeah, let's just have everyone group up in Teviotdale once we're there. We'll form up into a single army with a thousand men strong. We should easily be able to wipe out the enemy army. I mean, they're like 600 strong. If we defeat that army, that might win the war. We might not actually have to uh, crush anyone else. So, head to Lothian, and then to alt -Clut. Try to, uh, make it to alt -Clut after it ticks to November, though, so we can get some morale back. I want to make sure that this battle is nice and decisive. Run alt -Clut. do you really think you could have won this? I mean, honestly, when you decided that you wanted to invade me, just... What were you thinking? Okay, let's see, we have raiders in East Anglia. They are not sieging down the province. So guess what? I couldn't give a fuck. Okay, so our center is going down fast in morale. But... That happens, so... We lose about 80 troops, and every single one of the Celts gets slaughtered. I mean, seriously, that was devastating for them. You know, I'm thinking maybe we should head to the Hebrides, knock out the Scottish army, then come back... Resecure Strathclyde. I mean, we're two thirds of the way done. 